First at 11, a tragedy for a family in Spotsylvania County. A 14 year old boy was killed in a house fire. Those flames broke out just after four o'clock this morning at the home on Lee Hill School Drive. RJ Korf spoke with the teen's relative. He is live in the newsroom now with more. Jay. Scott, house, everything in it, and a beloved child are gone after an early morning fire raced through a Spotsylvania County home. Unfortunately, the fire had just taken taken off and, and there was nothing that we could do. It's impossible to comprehend the panic during and the pain after. Fire ripped through this Spotsylvania County home, destroying the house and claiming the life of 14 year old Xavier Montague. Now he had the light in his eye of a, a young teenager, um, loved his family and we loved him. BB Jones, Xavier's great aunt, lives next door on Lee Hill School Drive, just south of Fredericksburg. My family just got out with what they had on. Actually, they were shoeless the whole bit. They were sleeping. When help arrived Sunday morning just after 4 a.m., fire officials reported seeing flames and smoke pouring from every window. Five family members somehow managed to escape. The victim's father, mother, grandmother, teenage sister, and younger brother. But in the chaos of this harrowing moment, Xavier, who had autism, did not make it out. Jones says Xavier's dad smashed out a window in an effort to jump in and save his son, but it was too late. He wanted to, but no, it was, it was too engulfed in flames. So it was a sad, sad morning. It was a sad, sad morning. This family lost more than a home and its belongings therein. They lost the shining smile in their life. We have to move forward. We, we, we have to praise our little guy, Xavier, and we're going to know that he's in God's hands and we're, we're going to, you know, we're going to hang in there until that day when we will see him again and we will. Fire officials say there were no obvious signs pointing to a particular cause, so the cause remains under investigation. Live in the newsroom, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.